Hi guys, welcome to this video. My name is Brian from Brightech.co.uk and I've had a request from someone to make a video on how to fix the error message that we have in front of us where it says Windows could not start because the following file is missing or corrupt system32 backslash drivers backslash fastfact.sys Well, there's two reasons for this error message. Either it says what it says there, the file is missing or it's corrupt and uh, so this file uh, fastfact.sys would be missing or it is corrupted okay or the other reason would be uh, faulty RAM or bad memory where one of your sticks of RAM has gone faulty and you need to scan your RAM to find out which one it is and replace it okay uh, they're the most common um, errors uh, for this error message here so I'm going to show you how to fix that now if the file was missing or corrupt obviously if it's the other one then this won't work so let's assume that it's missing or um, or corrupted okay so let's uh, have a look at our Windows operating system and reboot this into recovery console so you will need a Windows CD or you can use uh, uh, Ubuntu or Linux or something like that or a pre-installed environment like uh, Ultimate Boot CD for Win and stuff like that okay so let's uh, just push enter when it comes up boot to that CD Okay, now I'm going to quickly pause this screen because I don't want you getting bored. Okay, which is about loaded up here to the optional screen where we can choose uh, R for recovery. So I'll just let that load up. And uh, once we've got that loaded up, okay, so we've got that loaded up now. So we're going to push R at this point to enter the recovery console. Now you, may know, you may have a different look to your uh, recovery console if you've got a dual boot or whatnot but I haven't so I'm just gonna push one now, if you have got dual boot make sure you push the right number for the drive that is corrupted otherwise you're gonna be just fixing something that isn't broken so select the drive that's broken okay if you've got an administrator password enter it at this stage I don't so I just need to push enter and uh, from there we're gonna change directory straight into uh, backslash windows actually I'm already in Windows so I'll just do uh, backslash system uh, system32 and then backslash drivers because I want to get into that uh, oh, terrible change directory to system32 and then change directory to drivers sorry about that bit of a long day okay so we're there we're in there now so basically from there what I need to do now is find out what drive I'm on uh, my CDs in so it's in D so type map and that will tell you uh, drive D is my CD-ROM okay from there you can actually type uh, to rename the driver because this is where the actual driver lives if it's there it will allow you to rename it now to rename you type ren um, fast fat uh, dot sys okay now what you got to remember and then just type uh, fast fat again like so space fast fat uh, and this will rename it dot old okay and then push enter and that will rename the file okay if you want to I'm not going to bother renaming it because I'm obviously just going to overwrite the old one because there's nothing wrong with my system so that's what you need to do and push enter and that will rename the old file okay from fastfact.sys to fastfact.old that's just in case something goes wrong at that stage and you can always revert it back okay so the next thing you won't be able to obviously rename it if it's not there if it's missing so the next thing we need to do is to put the file in so now we're in that actual directory drivers what we need to do is type copy uh, d colon backslash because that is my, the name of my cd drive uh, we need to now put i386 uh, there and then we need to go backslash fast fat um, dot sys like so oh sorry dot sys underscore so that will be like that it won't be sys it will be sy underscore okay because um, it's coming off the cd now we don't have to put a, a, 
a location because it will copy that file into the directory that it's in which is obviously drivers and that's the directory we want to put it into if I was in Windows directory obviously I'd have to put a location to where to put that file but because we've also already allocated into that already gone into that folder we can just copy it straight in okay so I'm going to push uh, enter now the reason why I'm getting this uh, to you sure you want to overwrite it is because the file is already there okay and um, we don't have to uh, I'll know that it's there because obviously uh, there's nothing wrong with the machine so I'm just going to say yes and just overwrite that okay and that will take you off the CD and it's one file copied okay now that's how you um, put a file back in that's corrupted and that should be all working so I'm going to I'm gonna, just going to undo that and then basically I'm not you should have took your CD out here but just don't push any keys and let it boot up and there you go Windows starts okay my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk I hope you've enjoyed this video if you've got any requests for videos please send me a message or an email and I'll do my best to uh, make a video for you Maybe you've got a problem and you want me to help you fix it, well, send us a message or leave a comment and I'll try and help you fix it. Okay? Uh, please leave me your comments and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.